one of the great disappointments in my marine career was I had a, a huge um, area under glass. Every year we used to burn off the foliage because it made them flower. The smoke in the, um, in, the, in the glass house would make them flower a lot better. And one year I decided there were all different varieties. I decided to dig them all up and break them and put them all in beds of colour. And we had a horrendous flood came down the hill and it washed all the marines in a pile uh, about a week after we'd planted them. <laughs> and this big mound of marines all with their white roots all coming out. And so I just raked them back. And after that, I lost sort of hope for cut flower marines. And I thought, well, really, we need to grow them outside. So now, I've, for the last 10 years, I've been breeding back to the little tiny species. So they'll actually flower and grow outside in, in the damp. They don't like our wet summer. So that's a big disappointment there. And it happens on and off. You think, oh yeah, Astelias. I'll grow that Astelia bankside. It's a really slow old Astelia to grow. I did 30 trays of Astelia seed. Oh, just, oh, look at them all coming. Oh, they're fabulous. They're all poking through. Go back. They're not getting any bigger. And you go back and have another look and take the covers off and the mice had been through and eaten all the roots off about 30,000 seedlings they totally stopped me being a millionaire <laughs> they'd eaten every root and they just didn't grow so next time you grow banks are you need to make sure there's no mice around and we do get quite a lot of trouble with mice